optical fiber networks cover the whole of Japan. With current commercial communication systems, wavelength division multiplexing, where multiple signals of different wavelength are transmitted in a single optical fiber, is used for expanding transmission capacity as infrastructures in the Internet era. At present, up to 80 wavelength signals provide us with 80 times larger transmission capacity. To achieve this, a device called an Arrayed Wave Guiding Grating, or AWG, is used to separate the multiple optical signals of differing wavelengths. The AWG is monolithically created as an optical circuit. It comprises a silica glass waveguide on a silicon substrate. Optical signals pass through multiple waveguides of slightly different lengths, causing interference within a slab waveguide. As a result, wavelength multiplex signals are demuxed and output at different ports according to the wavelength. NTT Photonics Laboratory is the world leader in research and development of AWG. AWG research began in 1988. The basic concept was established in 1991. Then, in 1994, the first AWG-based WDM system was created. Soon after, the AWG was commercialized as a key device, enabling large increases in communications network capacity, and has since rapidly spread throughout the world. Currently, NTT Photonics Laboratories is attempting to further increase the performance of AWG using three approaches. The first approach is miniaturization of the AWG. We have reduced the bending radius of the waveguide by using a material having a greater light confining effect. The minimum bend radius of the waveguide was initially 5 millimeters but it has now been reduced to one millimeter. This allows construction of AWGs that are a mere 10 millimeter square. The second approach is the thermalization of the AWG. AWG characteristics change slightly according to temperature, so additional electrical circuits to maintain a uniform temperature in the module must be included. We were able to counter these changes by introducing a section in the waveguide filled with a resin having thermal characteristics opposite to those of the silica glass, canceling the temperature dependence and eliminating the need to control the temperature. The third approach is a wider bandwidth. A two-stage Mach Zender interferometer is placed before the AWG, perturbating the position of the input light slightly. This can be used to momentarily hold the focus point so that it can smoothly move around the transmission wavelength. This achieves a rectangular broadband transmission spectrum that makes possible ultra-high-speed transmission. With this and many other research results, we will continue to improve the performance of AWGs. NTT Photonics Laboratories, the AWG Solution Finder.